Hey guys, I'm Astro Wild. Today, Morgan and I are gonna head out on a little paddling adventure. It's a beautiful morning. And while we're out paddling, we're gonna show you guys some of the basic skills you guys will need to know how to properly paddle your canoe, including using the J-stroke. You guys are watching Trail Hacks. Before you head out on the water, it's important to have a float plan. Now a float plan is basically just letting somebody know where you're going and how long you plan to be out in the water. Today, Asher and I, we're just going out here close in the bayou. It's not gonna be a very long trip, but still it's important to make a float plan. You never know what might happen on the water. It's good to let others know. You can't have fun without safety. All right, let's go. It's always important when you head out in the water to make sure you have a good PFD that fits your body type and is um, nice and snug. So I got mine on right now. Probably the most common technique for paddling is just simple strokes. This is what I'm doing right now. You paddle on one side and then eventually the canoe will start to turn in the opposite direction and then you all turn and paddle on this side right to make up for it. This isn't the most efficient method though, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna, you're gonna zigzag a lot. You're gonna be going back and forth. And that takes up a lot of time and energy. A more effective way of paddling is what's called the J-stroke. And it's basically the same thing as a normal stroke, except what you're gonna do is you're gonna plant your blade into the water nice and far, bring it all the way back until it's past your hip, and then you're gonna twist the blade so that it's parallel with your canoe. So you bring it up top, pull it all the way back past your hip, twist it a little bit so it's parallel, and that's gonna actually offset your stroke so that instead of going like this, you're gonna stay nice and straight so that you're more efficient. Sometimes you'll find though that the J-stroke actually isn't enough. If you're facing a strong wind, kind of like right now, the wind's picking up, or strong current, what's really helpful to know is what I like to call the rudder method. And the rudder method is basically taking the J-stroke just a step further. So right now I'm paddling on the left side. So say there was a really strong uh, wind coming this way, I could use the rudder technique to off balance that wind and keep me turning in the right direction. So what you saw right then was probably the background shifted a lot, right? I'm paddling one way and I use the rudder method and I turn this around, right? This is a really effective method for properly turning your canoe. We recommend that when you're going paddling, it's best to go in groups of at least two. The buddy system is really helpful. Not only do you go faster, but it's just better for safety in general. And when you're paddling with multiple people, it's crucial you remember teamwork. The person in the back, it's his primary job to make sure that you're steering correctly, that you're going in the right direction. The person in the front, in my case, Morgan, it's his job to provide a lot of the thrust needed for us to get from point A to point B. It's also his job to be the lookout. Paddling is great because it teaches you all about endurance and perseverance. And that's really what the life of a Christian is all about. In the world, there's gonna be all kinds of currents and winds that are gonna to try to push us back. But for the true fall of Christ, we have to be pushing forward. We can't stop and give in to those, because if we stop for one second, we're gonna be pushed back. We have to persevere and follow after Christ with all of our hearts, souls, mind, and strength. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you um, enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe. And if you're interested in learning more about Trail Life USA, um, about how to start your own troop or become a troop member, please head over to their website, truelifeusa.com. And if you're interested in learning more about the Wild Brothers and about some of our adventures, feel free to head over to our website, wildbrothersproductions.com. Thanks so much, guys, and looking forward to seeing you guys in the next episode.